So here we have <clears throat> Jack Kerouac's Wake Up a Life of the Buddha. Okay. <clears throat> Buddhism in it is interesting. Uh, I read this book to get it out of the way. Uh, let's just say it wasn't my cup of tea. Okay. There's nothing really here save for... You know, um, of course, we find out a bit of the lives, the life of the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. Uh, and then, most of all, what Jack Kerouac does here is explain in a basic way, you know, some of the ideas of, of, of Buddhism and some of the, you know, concepts of you know, uh, how to handle, you know, the suffering of life. Because, of course, the main idea here is that life is suffering, and that's pretty much it. And no matter what you do, <clears throat> unless you detach yourself from all, you know, temptations, <clears throat> from all distractions, this world will cause suffering upon you. And... <clears throat> And, you know, I thought about this for a long time, and I kind of agree <clears throat> with this idea that the only way for you to save yourself and prevent, you know, agony and grief, you know, and sorrows is to detach yourself from everything, from all attachments, to be indifferent right, to reject any kind of stimulus, uh, because this is what the world does. The world is here to, to tantalize you, to seduce you, to woo you with pleasures and gratification, and afterwards, what you are left with is, of course, more pain, more aches, more agony. <clears throat> and, of course, even somebody like Buddha, the only way that he could, you know, reach enlightenment and be liberated from these mortal and carnal um, pains was to, you know, divorce the material to, you know, just say no and, and detach and just move away from everything that is, you know, tempting, from everything that is, that provides any kind of satisfaction, right? Even somebody like Buddha, his only solution was, you know, I, they're all illusions, and I will not be deluded by them any longer because the, the, the only result, after a bit of fun, will be, of course, suffering. So he, even somebody like him, his only solution was detachment. Detachment. Indifference. Negation. Right? Simplicity. A, a, a simple lifestyle. Right? And by by practicing this you know, philosophy of meditation and so forth, you know, you cannot be distracted or diverted any longer because you understand that everything is a illusion, that everything will go away, that everything is temporary, you know, that everything will just to, uh, turn to dust and disappear, right? So why bother um, being so invested and immersed uh, in something that 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 is here for a second and then it goes away forever, right? The same thing with life, the same thing with yourself, you know? And I think this is a big problem nowadays that people are just too in love with themselves. They think 
too much about themselves. They're, they are too absorbed with, the, with themselves and with their lives, right? Constantly, constantly, uh, you know, to a point it becomes a disease, an illness, Right, so I think this is a this is the main problem problem of the twenty first century. People are just too involved in themselves; they care too much about themselves, which I, I think is a bad thing. Right, sometimes you need to uh, to even detach from yourself. You know, as as bizarre as that sounds, sometimes you have to just step away and just stop thinking about yourself. Stop being so narcissistic. So self-serving so nar so you know so uh what's the word i'm looking for self-absorbed that's basically it right and uh unfortunately you know um you know the main idea of the book is of buddhism explore it in this book is that everything is illusion or everything observed and felt by the senses is an illusion it's not real you know what comes after life is the real thing the the void right the nothingness that is permanent right everything that we perceive here is just a deception a a a a a fara morgana, you know, shadows, you know, uh, dancing on the wall, on the floors. You know, it's just not real. It's nothing but projection here. The material, even though it seems solid, if you touch it, you know, it's not permanent. It's just not what you think it is, right? And when I discovered this, you know, a long, a long time ago in my early 20s, you know, uh, that is when I sort of saved myself from a lot of suffering because I cared so much about everything. I was just so invested. I cared about what people thought about me. I cared, you know, uh, about money all the time to get more stuff, more money to buy more stuff, etc. You know, all the things and, you know, and being involved with people. And now that I'm older and I think back at that, you know, I just I I just can admit it and confess it that that because I cared so much, because I was so invested in all of the material and 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 so forth, that is why I suffered a lot. That is why I was miserable. I was depressed. You know, I never had time to relax. I never had time to pursue. You know, my own goals. I was always tired. Always, you know, depressed and miserable. Because I I care too much, and I and I I was invested too much in the illusion of reality. Reality is not what you think it is. You know, uh, you know the best way to free yourself from suffering is to step away, to take a step back, right, and not take it too seriously. And this is yet again another main aspect you know people take life themselves the world what happens in the world etc too seriously <laughs> you know it's all theatrics in the end you know what happens in the world whatever you know it will pass it will go away people will forget you know etc etc and then even the dust will crumble to nothing you know so why bother being so why bother caring so much, okay? But the, of course, this is just a simplistic, you know, overview of Buddhism and the life of Buddha, Buddha and the, you know, philosophical, you know, ideology. Of course, um, the book, of course, uh, uh, Jack Kerouac's book, The Life of Buddha, uh, you know, is just not my cup of tea. Uh, of course, it's an it it is an easy read, available for everybody. If you wanna, you know, touch upon Buddhism on a superficial level, 
you know, you get you get the main gist of it all. But to me, um, you know, uh, to me, you know, the topic itself is not that interesting. You know, uh, I've never been a fan of religion. I never, I've never been a fan of, you know, these messiahs or these, you know, ascendant masters, whatever. But of course, just like in any religion, just like in any uh, belief system, there are good ideas, good concepts, you know, etc., etc., right? So I guess uh, one should take all of the good and dismiss, you know, the negative that is also found in every kind of belief system and religion, right? But that's about it. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say about this book. Um, you know, of course, back in the day, you know, when, um, you know, the, the flower power movement uh, started, of course, uh, you know, let's call them oriental, you know, religions, you know, they, 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 they came like a whirlwind, especially in America. And the, hippie, the hippies just ate this shit up and they thought that this was the answer to everything. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't uh, end well in the long run. Of course, they should have taken Buddha's teachings to heart and realized that in the end, nothing external can really help you or save you. It can only prolong or prevent the inevitable. The exterior, whatever it may be, cannot save you. Only the interior, your own thinking process, right? Your own mind, your own divine whatever spark, right? Your true self, your third eye, right? I call it, you know, internal resources. If you have internal resources, then you cannot be bamboozled by the, you know, simulation matrix, matrix reality. You cannot be you know, bamboozled by the il illusions that are here, right? So the way you think, the way you perceive, you know, your perspectives and perceptions on everything is what counts. Philosophies are good, theology is good, all of these stories about these, you know, sacred and divine people trying to enlighten people, they're fine as well. You can, there are gems everywhere, but they're not, or I should say, they shouldn't be the ones to save you. You shouldn't rely on them, you know. What you should rely is on your own ability, on your own mind to resolve all of these problems and issues that most human beings have. The human con condition, human nature, uh, it has a lot of faults, right? A lot of flaws. And I think it is by going within that you can resolve th these many issues. Sure, you can read a lot of books about this philosophy or that philosophy, or you can get motivated or, you know, top 12 tips how to you know, uh, succeed in life or whatever. But in the end, <coughs> what you need is already within. You don't need anything else. And this is, uh, this is, this is just my little philosophy, my, my own opinion, because it certainly helped me. Uh, nothing outside of myself helped me as much as, you know, going within and realizing that most of the shit that I cared about was nothing at all, nothing at all, right? And because of this, because of this realization or revelation, that is how I became, you know, lighter, you know, lighter, right? I was so relieved when I realized that, you know, everything that I cared about was just, you know, a, 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 a you know, a, 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 you know, an illusion, an illusion, right? When I accepted it, that that is when 
my life improve dramatically. Okay? And that's about it. You know, if you want a a, a fast and superficial, uh, you know, course on a bit of Buddhism, you know, if you want to find out a bit about Siddhartha Gautama, who became the Buddha, you know, maybe Jack Kerouac's book is the book for you. If you want to support your boy, I got a few books on Amazon. The link will be down below. Thanks for watching, keep on reading, and see ya!